Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Caesar cipher and cryptography. So what is a cryptography? A cryptography is the field of study related to encoding information. The Caesar cipher was used by the Roman army. The cipher was named after Julius Caesar, who used it to encrypt military and other official messages. The Caesar cipher is a type of substitution cipher. Caesar cipher is a simple form of a substitution cipher where you replace each letter of the alphabet with another letter by shifting the whole alphabet a certain number of letters using the key value. Here we do have some terminology such as crypto means secret and a graphy mean writing. Encryption is the process of translating plain text data into something meaningless or we call it cipher text. Decryption is the process of converting cipher text back to plain text or something meaningful. Cipher, cipher is a method or algorithm that encrypts or disguise a text to make it hidden. Key, key is the set of parameters that guide a cipher. Plain text, so it's the undisguised text is called the plain text or the standard text. Cipher text is the disguised text. Cryptology it's the science of secrets so here now we do have the Julius Caesar having this message attack at midnight which is a military uh, order to be sent to his uh, military waiting to attack now he need to encrypt the message using the Caesar cipher or his own method then he's going to use his messenger to send the encrypted military order message to the army. Now on the other side, once the army received this encrypted message by the generals or the commanders on the side of the war, the commander already have the shift key provided by Julius Caesar. They already uh, arrange the shift key in advance for their secure communication. So the general will decrypt the message using the key, then, then they will find out the attack time. So here I want to talk about the steps we need to uh, do the encryption and decryption using the Caesar cipher. So step number one, write down the alphabet from A to Z in a table and we call this uh, first uh, row the plain row this will represent our plain text or the original message step two uh, select the shift key value it's going to be from 1 to 25 and this is going to represent the key where we're going to shift the second row or the cipher row step number three using the shift key value let's say uh, we are using key equal number three count the shift in the cipher row starting from the right side of the row step number four write down each letter of the alphabet from a to z in the cipher row of the table until the end continue writing down um, the remaining of the alphabet alphabet letters and finally start encryption uh, by selecting your message uh, it's called the plain text and then you're going to match the cipher letters in the row of this table that we are going to create with each letter of your message the plain uh, in the plain row of the table so here is the table so on the top part of the row we call this the plain. This is going to represent our uh, standard message or the plain text before being encrypted. And the, the second row is going to represent our cipher row or we're going to use these letters 
to uh, uh, encrypt the message and if you notice here we already do have the shift happening in the second row so the second row we see the shift going on so here starting from D so in the plane so since we said the key is equal uh, 3 so here we do have the plane so A to Z normally so A going all the way to Z in the plane part however in the row part since we already have key equal 3 here's the key or the shift key equal 3 we going to skip so just go to the plane one two then three so we starting from D in the cipher row so D all the way to Z and this is step number four then write uh, then uh, continue writing that down the remaining of the alphabet letters so a to c so a b c so here we created the shift uh, uh, the shift in the uh, cipher row of the table so i want to get started encryption so step number five i'm going to start encryption by selecting the message which is attack at midnight i'm going to match the cipher letters and the cipher row of my table with the si with each letter of the message in the plain row so my message here is attack at midnight starting with attack so looking at attack so a looking at the plain row so a is here this row, the plain text row, represent the original or the standard message, okay? And the cipher row is going to uh, represent the cipher text where we're going to convert uh, the message to encrypted message. So A correspond to D, we see D here. So A and D. So here my first uh, letter for the encryption, it's going to be D right uh, next I have T so looking in the a plain row so T I see T here and looking at the cipher row it's W so W and I have another W for attack and next I have a another a which is D I have C let's look into C this is C and I see F so my next one is F right and I do have K so looking in the row in the table back to the table and let's look for K so this is K so it's N in the cipher row so this is N and we done with attack uh, space we have at so at a we know that is equal to D and uh, for T let's look at T and it's equal to W back to W next I do have midnight so M looking for M so this is M and the cipher row here it's P so this is going to be P we, we have I so I this is I in the plain narrow and L so P L uh, D I have D and it's going to be G so this is going to be G in the encrypted uh, message and I have N it's going to be Q so this is N here in the plain row and this is a Q in the cipher so this is going to be Q and I do have I it's going to be L and G 
it's going to in the plane it's going to be J in the cipher and uh, we do have uh, H looking into H it's K in the cipher so it's going to be K and finally we do have T and T it's uh, correspond to W again so this is going to be W here and that should be it so this is going to be attack at midnight so this is the encrypted message Julius Caesar was be sending to his army so now I want to talk about uh, decryption so once the message the encrypted message received uh, by the army one of the top generals that has the shift key and the shift key is the key that Julius Caesar let's say for example and the top general already arrange in advance in order to encrypt and decrypt messages secret messages so now uh, the, the top general will use the same table to decrypt and understand the content of this message so let's start with decrypting it's going to be the same thing so now I'm using the same table and I'm going to look into the encrypted message so I received this message the encrypted message here and now I want to find the plain text or the decrypt message so starting with D so I do have D here so instead of looking into the plain row and uh, match with the cipher row I'm going to look into the cipher and I'm going to match with the plain row so from the down or the bottom to the top so starting with D I have D in my encrypted uh, message so this is D here so look to the cipher row it's D D correspond to A and continue so this is going to be A and next it's two W's so this is going to be W correspond letter is T in the plain text and the plain text is basically we are responding or we are converting the cipher text into the original or the plain text next I do have D which is also A and F so this is F and it's going to be C right so this is going to be C and uh, I have N and this is correspond to K and okay so I see the first letter says attack right of the encrypted message uh, let me continue with D and W so next uh, for the next uh, word so the D it's equal to it's going to equal to A and uh, A W it's going to equal to T okay next I do have P so looking down so here is the P correspond to M so this is going to be M and L so this is L it's going to be I and I do have G this is going to be D and Q so this is a Q in the cipher row and this is N in the plain uh, row so it's going to be N and next I do have L so L is going to be I right and J so the J in the cipher row it's equal to G and next um, we have K so this is K and it's equal to H and finally we do have W which is equal to T okay so the general decrypted the message and it's clearly saying that the order is attack at midnight.
and that should be it for the Caesar cipher uh, encryption and decryption steps we encrypted a message uh, using the shift value by creating a table and then we decrypted uh, the message using the same shift value and uh, the same table that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching uh, talk to you later bye